Hello, welcome. Uh, let us discuss about a very important concept, especially abstract class. Now, in object-oriented programming, when you are creating inheritance, you have a superclass and subclass. Sometimes you have to impose some rule. What rule? You want your superclass. People should not be able to create an object of type superclass. Why? Because superclass is actually providing property and services to all the subclasses. You are expected to create object of type subclass of child but not of superclass. How can you protect it? How can you stop it? You can create reference means pointer of type superclass but not an object. So let us discuss about this and uh, starting with the abstract class a class which is declared using the abstract keyword first of all this abstract keyword is actually a keyword in Java you create actually a class by declaring using the abstract keyword and you understand if you create an abstract class it also can have abstract and non abstract method that means method with body now take a look at this example public abstract class that means abstract keyword comes before class and then shape shape is an abstract class you can have a abstract method one thing is very important how do we write abstract method public abstract void draw that means draw is a method of never returns anything void but it is an abstract method and see there is no body just a semicolon now and then you have a display method which is a concrete method with the body remember one thing if a class has an abstract method that class must be declared abstract a class abstract class may not have any abstract method it is not necessary that you have an abstract method to be an abstract class but if you have an abstract method in a class you have to declare that class abstract that's the rule Alright, so let's proceed to see the next is abstraction in Java is a process of hiding implementation detail that's fine and showing the functionality to the user abstraction lets you focus on what the object does instead of how it does it so ways to create abstraction there are two ways to achieve abstraction in Java abstract class 0 to 100 percent interface 100 percent why it is zero because sometimes I can have I have a constructor I have other methods but my the class is abstract so that is actually zero to hundred percent and interface is purely hundred percent we discuss about it so a class must be declared abstract if any of the following conditions is true the class has one or more abstract method it's clear right second point a class inherits one or more abstract method it must be declared abstract and the class declares that it implements an interface but does not provide implementation means it's an abstract class an abstract class cannot be instantiated that means you cannot create an object out of an abstract class abstract class differ the implementation of subclass the subclass must provide implementation of abstract method or declare itself to be abstract because you suppose you have an abstract method in a superclass you are creating a child or a subclass your job will be to implement that abstract method which is declared in the superclass take a look at this example public abstract class living thing living thing is an abstract class I have a breath method breathe because living things always breathe so there is a breathe living things breathing and there is a eat because living thing eating and there is an abstract method walk public abstract void walk but you can see there is no body so it is a semicolon it's an abstract method now human is becoming a subclass of living thing i'm saying public class human extends living thing and then I have to implement this work method. Why? Because this is actually an abstract method. So I am saying public void work, but don't say abstract because why? Because it is already abstract. You cannot say abstract anymore. Work and you write what you want to do. 
So abstract class shape, then there is an abstract method. You can actually create a subclass of shape rectangle and then write the draw method. You can uh, create a subclass circle of shape, extend shape, write the draw method. And then you can test in the main, you create the circle object and call the draw method. So it is as simple as that, but you see one thing, I said shape AS is equal to new circle. Shape AS is a reference, it is not an object. But I am creating a circle object and keeping that in shape. Why? Because circle is a shape, rectangle is a shape. I can create a rectangle object and keep that in the reference of shape. So if you are extending any abstract class that have abstract method, you must either provide the implementation of the method or make that class abstract. This is another example of a model. I am not going to elaborate on this. So abstract method in abstract class and abstract method cannot be contained in a non-abstract class, you can understand. Subclass of an abstract superclass does not implement all abstract method and non-abstract subclass extend from abstract class, all abstract method must be implemented, right? So object cannot be created from abstract class. You can understand an abstract class cannot be instantiated, you cannot use new operator. But still, you can define its constructor, invoke that constructor from its subclass. And for instance, the constructor of geometric object are invoked in circle class and rectangle class. Look at this. I have an abstract class bike. Bike constructor is there. Bike is created. Then there is the abstract method because this is an abstract class or RAM is a abstract method and I have a change here. Now Honda is a subclass of bike. Honda is a bike. And then you override, you, you have to define this RAM method. What you want to do? Test how you create a bike object, bike actually is a reference because bike is the abstract superclass, new Honda, you keep an Honda and then call the run method and call the change here. That means we can always create reference of the type of abstract superclass and object is the subclass. So abstract class without abstract method, yes, a class that contain abstract method must be abstract. It is possible to define abstract class that contains no abstract method. Yes, it's very much possible. Super class of abstract class may be concrete. Yeah, subclass can be abstract even if the super class is concrete. Example, object class is concrete but its subclass geometric object may be abstract. This can happen that super class is a concrete class. It is not abstract but the subclass is abstract class. Alright, so with this we stop here and I hope you enjoy object-oriented programming and computing.